In this video, I'll show you how to patch a lookup column using the command bar commands. Now, a while back, I posted a video uh, related to command bar creating multiple copies of a record. On basis of that video, one of the user has requested for uh, a video with regards to uh, a question basically asking, do you know how to patch a lookup column? So on basis of that question, I'm going to uh, show you how to patch a lookup column using command bar so just to give you a scenario this is a simple table minerals table and within this table i have a record if i navigate to the record i see that there is a field called as poly minerals agency and it is pointing to some lookup uh, column now here where it is pointing so i'll just close this off and then if i just press enter it is now pointing to an account table so I have an option to select one of the account out of this right now this is kind of a lookup column for my table okay so so the use case basically is if i navigate to say any record now say this record i want a lookup value to be automatically selected okay or maybe on basis of any condition i want the value to be selected automatically so in order to do that what we are going to do uh I have a simple model driven app i'm just editing the app and then from here i'm uh, i have just come here and then from here i have gone into edit command bar edit and then gone to main form now in main form this is how the main form will look like i will just click here and say click on new command now in this new command i'll be typing the name the label as uh, populate lookup and I'll put some icon over here. So let me put this icon. So populate lookup. Now here, in order to populate a lookup, what we want is from here, I want a, um, say, some account to be selected, okay? So there are many account records over here. Uh, so I will pick up, say, one uh, item, say so Soko, okay? So I want that if someone clicks on that button, the poly minerals agency field should be filled with, say, Soko. Uh, as a value now if you go to accounts here you will see all the items over here so i picked one item from here okay so in order to do that uh, i'll just select this populate lookup from uh, the command bar and i'll say okay if you select this i want you to patch patch means i want to update okay so i'll select the table this is the table minerals and then which item so i'll say self dot selected dot item so this item patch with what so i need to open a curly brace close the curly brace and semicolon and i'll put my value over here now here what i want is i want that field now the name of the field is poly minerals agency so this is that field now this has to be filled with the value soco but now this is pointing to an accounts table right now if you don't know how to query multiple tables within your system what you need to do is like you need to open this in a component library and you need to open that specific command add as a data source or uh, account table so once you do that you will be able to reference the accounts table as well so you will be able to see the account so if i type in accounts you will say accounts but if you do not do that if you don't go into the component library and add that data source you will not see this table okay so first thing what you need to do click on open component library on the left hand side on the data source click on uh, the database icon and then add accounts table or any table which you want to for the lookup now in my case the lookup is accounts table now once you do that you will find all the fields for accounts record now the we need to write a query right so what is a query query is if the account name is soco then show that uh, attach that record to poly mineral agency field now for that we need to write a command so that command is basically a lookup command so i'll say lookup look up what look up accounts table okay and what are you finding uh, in the accounts table i want the account name as soco so this is the account name account name as soco so if that's the case then i want that to be selected so accounts and what is the field name is accounts name so account account name equal to in double quotes soco soco once you do that 
uh, just close the lookup field. Now that's it. So this is how you basically write this command. So take this, cut, paste over here, and then you can just delete, and then this is your command. So what we have done, we have patched the table minerals. We said we want the first, the item which we have selected. And what we are doing over here is we want the column name to be uh, poly minerals agency, and that should be selected with the item of the account name is Soko. So this is how you basically write the PowerFX command. So this is how the command will look like. So I'm just formatting it so that this command is clear, right? So this is how the command will look like, right? So click on save and publish and let's see how it uh, performs. So now uh, I'm editing the command bar for minerals table. Now in order to reference other tables like accounts, contacts, or any other custom entity which you have created, you need to open a component library. And then from there, you need to actually, so I'll show you how to do that. So if you go into open component library, uh, here on the left-hand side, first select which component you are editing, okay? Now the component which we are editing is, uh, we have created a, a command bar, uh, and we need to exactly pick the name of that command bar. Now, because by default, when the navigation happens uh, to this component library, it doesn't pick up the correct uh, reference. And so it is very important that you select. Now, as you see over here, it has selected copy mineral, but that's not our command. Our command was populate lookup. So you select this first, okay? Now, once you select this, you know you need to operate over here. Now, on the left-hand side, if you click data, here you can add a data. Now I've already added accounts, users, contacts. You can add n number of data, whatever you want. Okay, so if you do that, then only this particular uh, table will be surfaced out. Right. So uh, coming back here, let me just refresh this and see whether our changes have been published or not. So if I go into say Fujitsu. Oh, sorry, uh, I need to go into the minerals. Okay, so go into the minerals, select one of the minerals. So once you publish it, it will take some time uh, to reflect the changes. Now I'm in this change uh, in this record, I'll say populate lookup, then if you click on populate lookup, what should happen is like this particular field should be automatically populated with say, Soko as a record. So if I click on populate lookup, then it has populated with Soko record, right? So again, if I go back and if I go into any other record, say plutonium, and here, let's say if I select some records, say I select Optus over here and I click on save. Okay. Now, if I click on populate lookup, it has replaced that value with the Soko value. Now, why? Because we have written a condition. It's a simple uh, lookup condition. And the lookup condition is basically accounts, account name equal to Soko. Now, that can be your own business logic. I've just shown you uh, how to basically query a, an external table and then put a condition around it to retrieve the value. So that's it, folks. Uh, and thanks, uh, Chloe, for the question uh, on how to patch a lookup column using command bar. Thanks for watching.